Hey, good evening, folks, man, and I know I'm a stranger, but welcome to the Let's Go Fishing Show. As you can see, I've got my two compadres here with me. I told them we was all the three compadres. That's here. right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill, good to have you with us, man. Always good to be here, Steve. Old yes, buddy. sir. Be with you and old Mike both, I, I feel real honored. I have, have, we, we feel the same way with you. Uh, folks, uh, uh, right quick, uh, I want to thank Mike uh, for filling in for me last week and or filling in for me and Bill last week. Uh, we kind of took a little trip there and left Mike holding the bag, but I hear he done a real good job of holding the bag. I, hey, I, I done heard about it from two or three different people. He done an excellent job, son. That's good. That's good. That means we can slip off more. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, sir. Lordy. Hey, folks, listen, the uh, Lady Vols game don't start till 830, so uh, catch up on what's going on here right quick. We got some good fishing film from down at Dale Hollow. I uh, want to say hello to Dad and to Polly, and uh, we'll, we're going to get to the film here real quick. We got a lot of announcements to make, I, I, I'm telling you. Let me go ahead and hit a couple of them right quick. Don't forget the Sportsman's Expo, Bill, coming up Saturday up there at Riverside. Uh, Second Baptist Church, uh, Riverside Sportsman's Expo at Second Baptist Church in Clinton. Don't want to forget that. I think they're going to start about 1 o'clock and uh, serve dinner, uh, I thought he said 4.15, around 4 o'clock somewhere, like what I believe, and, and, and wind up about 6.15. Uh, it was a real good show last year. I'm it, looking forward to it being a, another good show this, this year. Sure am, Bill. And, and their guest is uh, Jimmy Houston. And and uh, so, uh, uh, folks, remember that. Uh, like Bill said, they put on a good show. Uh, they, they's, you know, they've got hunting stuff, skeet shooting, kids casting contests. I think they're even going to have a, a fish pond this year, he said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just on and on like that. So, uh I don't know how many tickets they've got left, but uh, uh, they wasn't but just, I don't know, five or six hundred of them. So anyway, if you hadn't made plans, it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, I'll tell you this, Reynolds Racing Marine, one of our sponsors, is going to be there. Uh, going to have several boats and some side-by-sides. So this is a good deal. Uh, you know, make, make plans to, to attend if possible. I think you'll have, be well worth your afternoon spent. Sure will. Go will, buddy. And uh, uh, right quick, while I've got your all's attention, hopefully, next week my guest is going to be Dennis Ferguson from down to Rome County, his road superintendent down there. Uh, and the reason for that is next, uh, or in March, is uh, National Cl uh, Cleanup Day, Cleanup Week. Uh, it's part of the Great American Cleanup Program. And we've been... Uh, talking about a, a lake cleanup bill for several months, Mike, and you know that for attending those meetings. Uh, and there it is. Our Herschel's got me covered already. Uh, at the East Tennessee Sportsman Association, we've been talking about getting together this spring and having a, a cleanup program. You know, everybody goes out in the boat and picks up uh, trash out of the, uh, off the bank and this, that, and the other, especially in the backwash places. And... Uh, so anyway, they're going to coincide with the Keep Wrong, Keep Wrong Litter Free Community Cleanup Day, three days, March 10th, 11th, and 12th. But anyway, I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it. I'm just going to tell you, Dennis is going to come over here next week. He'll be here on the show for a little while and tell us all about what they got planned. That's good. You know, that there's a, a great thing. It happens on several other lakes already. Yes, sir. The, uh, and, uh, you would you won't believe it, the stuff that they uh, get off the bank out of the woods and everything where they took their drug their the trash and, and everything. I, 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 I know. Well, <laughs> folks, you know, Bill, everything winds up at the water. That's right. That's I mean, right. you know, that's the low place of the area, and uh, everything winds up there. Uh, the, 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 here's my point about that. I told them guys at the Sportsman's uh, Association meeting when we was talking about this, I said, now listen, don't go in these places and and pick up these logs and, and stumps and, and, and uh, you know, wood products uh, unless it's a two-before or something like that. Now, the pop bottles and the trash, get it, but leave that wood because that's 
a lovely spawning place to be in. Well, not yeah. only that, it's a good little hiding place, place for the minnows. That's right. And it's a good hiding place for the fish. fish exactly uh, right. You take a, yeah, I tell you what, me and Hoyt Eason, I never will forget, we was uh, up on Norse one time and, and fishing, and we seen one little limb sticking up mm -hmm. out of the water. Yeah. You won't believe how many fish we caught yep. off that one limb, but found out about it. It was just a small mm -hmm. bush that was laying on the bank right. with one little branch. And we must have caught 17, 18, 19 fish off that one little twig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. I've caught a lot of fish uh, just run right in them little old pockets where all the trash wants to gather up, man. Pitch a jig or a, uh, a Cinco or, uh, you, you know, a worm, yeah. It, it, they just lay right there. I mean, you know, they're smart. They they laying right there waiting yeah. on something to get in that water. That's, that's exactly right. right. But yeah. anyway, I told them, I said, hey, just I'll help you pick up all the trash we can. Just don't get my wood out there, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, their habitat. That's their habitat. I said, yeah, we don't want to tire up any habitat because we don't have much as it is uh, on watch bar especially. And in and, and the same way on Norris, when the water gets up, uh, there's a lot of little places back there in the back of them pockets that's got some debris floated in and lodged in there. It makes a good hiding place for them, uh, and, and along with all the other lakes. But I just wanted to, to mention those two or three things to you and and uh, uh, that kind of thing. So we'll, uh, we're will we fixing to get on. we got a call, Herschel. Okay, we'll take it. Hello, caller. Hi, hi, bud. I'm new caller. I just called now to follow it. I was just wanting to know how fish is doing in your area, neck of the woods. Uh, well, the bass, uh, w we fished last week on Dale Holler, caught some good fish, uh, several fish. Uh, the bass, the smallmouth, been good on Norse. You know that for uh -huh. the last, yeah, last three or four months. It's been pretty good. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're okay. Uh, I I fish a lot up here around Campbell County, and you got to mm -hmm. find pretty good, decent places. Then yeah. I heard it's better down in there. That's why I was asking. Well, uh, what, let me tell you, there was a tournament on Watch Bar last this past week, last Saturday, and the boy had twenty, a little over twenty pounds that won it, and second place uh -huh. was eight pound and something. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got on. They they hit the fish hard right off the get go. I was told, and then it kind of dwindled. They had 30, 30 some boats in it, and there was a lot of them didn't have a fish, and several had one fish. Yeah, we have a little tournament every year up here uh, called up the graveyard up here in La Follette. Yes, sir. Well, I'm glad. And, uh, I, I'm glad to get a caller from La Follette, man. I sure am. Yeah, I love hearing your show. I didn't know what this number was, but I'm glad I got to meet you. all you been like good fellers. I like them shirts you got on. I like to buy one of them. Well, uh, I'll tell you what we'll sweat do. Shirt. Yeah, it's a sweatshirt. Yeah, in cold weather, we got a few sweatshirts. Uh, I'll get you some made up. I'd advertise for you. I sure will. Well, I'd get one of them. I, I, I'd, say, I, I'd appreciate that. Uh, let me. Get, I've got a shirt order in right now, but it's short sleeves because I, you know, I probably won't get them for another three or four weeks, and I, by then it'll be uh -huh. warm weather. But uh, uh, you get you stick with me and and we'll get you a shirt, man. Oh, okay, I thank you, Dirk. Uh, all right, buddy. Appreciate. It. Glad you called uh, in. Get get us. By the way, go yes, ahead. By the way, my name's Larry Kids. Okay. Larry Kids. Yeah. Okay, Larry. I appreciate you calling in, buddy. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you, man. Watch this film. You see some fish catching here in a minute. Oh yeah, I'm watching you. <laughs> all right, buddy. Thank you, Larry. All right, it's good to have a Campbell County caller. I've been telling them guys the show's on up there. It's just on a yeah. different channel, 2.30. <laughs> yeah. uh, 2.30, isn't it, Herschel? All right, 2.30 in Campbell County. Heck, we'll have a bunch of them calling in here before it's over. Uh, but the fishing up there, Larry, has been real good on Norris this, this year, last, ever since November, really. Uh, them guys been catching them. You know, when you're taking over 20 pounds to win with a five small mouth, that's pretty good catching bill. It sure is. <laughs> anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Exactly right. Uh, let's see. I got to check off some stuff I told about. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go to the film, folks. And, and uh, uh, the first segment we got is a, is a little segment Mike and I done on Norse. 
And I wanted to show that because I'm going to show you them zebra mussels attached to Mike's bait. Yeah. So, uh, at Herschel, you roll her whenever you get ready. Hey, folks. Mike and I are here on Norse Lake, and we just put in here at Andersonville. And Mike's been out here while I was parking the trailer. He's been out here scoping him up some fish. He's trying to get ahead of me. So, uh, I ain't even, I don't even have a reel and rod out or anything. I mean, you know, and here he is, made four casts already, and I and didn't do no filming or anything. So, anyway, I see what I'm after. So, I'm going to get out here, remember the sponsors, folks, and let's go fishing. We hope to get you some fishing right here the rest of the afternoon. See y'all later. All right, we got you on now. Got me on. Well, he done went around the front of the boat, and he's yeah. coming back around here now. We'll see what we can come up with. I don't lose him. Oh, yeah. He's wanting to pull the right there, Mike. Yeah. Oh, golly, bum, ain't that pretty? Yeah. I guess Man. you want the net, too, don't you? Well, are you going to lift him? No, I ain't going to lift him. You I won't let, you... let you throw him in here. Well, I'm, so... no, I'm not throwing him in there now, Mike. <laughs> I've got six pound test line and a, and a medium action rod. I, I ain't, there's no that. Throw them over in the boat. Throw them over in the boat. No, I ain't throwing them in the boat. I'm going to lift him right here. And then I'll get him in the boat. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I just, I just this thing right here ain't going to take for the second. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that now, Mike? Well, he's a pretty one. Uh, no, nice one, I tell you. That fish, if he ain't four pounds, I don't know what four pounds is. He's no, pretty he's dang heavy. Amazing. Measure him. He's 18, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guarantee you, if you want to measure him, we can. Yeah. It won't take me but a second. Get the board out. But uh, he's a heavy fish. I know that. Oh. You had your calculator. You can figure out how much he weighs. Oh, Lord, yeah. Shoot. Oh, Lord. yeah. He's going to plumb over the uh, board. Yeah, that fish hurts us. He's an uh, inch and a half past the uh, 18 and a half mark. He's a good 20 inch. -er. Yeah, that's a 20 inch fish. He's four pounds, Mike. I'm putting him back to water. Yeah, put him back to water. Uh, pretty fish. Take off, buddy. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, Mike. I guess yeah. we'll take that. Yeah. Maybe you'll you listen to me next time. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't right. know. We we'll get might, back after him anyway. That might just be one of them flukes, you know. Could have been, by doubt. Could have been a fluke. Yeah. Are you still filming? Yeah. And Mike said we wasn't fishing deep enough. Yeah. So I put him in 50 foot of water and caught that. Caught one, yeah. Caught That's one. right. That's the way he lived. Okay, Mike, get at it. Yeah. All right, folks. Now, Mike has a Z. Uh, a jigging spoon on and there's a, a zebra mussel attached to the hook. I'm going to try to zoom in. Yeah, we're getting better and better, Mike. Right there it is. It, it's a, you know, put that back in front of your jacket. Hold it out there in front of your, your green jacket, Mike. It had a good picture of it there for a second. Well, see, I'm so, ah, you won't dark background let me find there we go oh yeah beautiful picture yeah now that uh kind of rotate your spoon around a little bit yeah get both sides of it there there you go uh zebra mussel attached to the hook on his spoon there okay mike they're down there you just keep fishing for them and i'll fish for the small man okay I don't know what the size limit is on them zebra mussels, Mike. <laughs> All right, now, Mike made another cast out there with his spoon, and, and as you can see, he's got a cluster of them on this, this deal. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, rotate that around a little bit. I'd there say, you go, I'd say a little bottom, more. I'd say the bottom of the lake is covered with them. <laughs> I'd say you're right, uh, without a doubt. So. Uh, uh, okay, Mike, you got a hold still. Okay, can you turn your spoon around? There you go. T flip them around. I want to see the backside. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
All right, Mike, get back at it. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, you got the dang thing. I got it zoomed. I had it zoomed, Mike. Push it, I think, with the right or with your left. Do it again? No. Didn't want no time. There he goes, boys. Right there's our first fish, first stop, Bill. And the, and the bad thing about it, first cast. First cast. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's all right, Bill. Yeah, first cast on old Bill. Yes, sir. That's all right, buddy. Dad gum it. Yeah. Did you get him? Yeah, boy. Sure did, old buddy. Okay, son. You got him, Mar. All right, son. All right, buddy. Look at here, old yeah, buddy. Boy. Uh, yeah, boy. Dad gum it. Oh, gun, look at that old that, buddy, boy. That looks good, Bill. Yes, That's a good yes, start. <laughs> All right, we're going to get him fish, back in the first water. Cast. First fish, first catch. That, <laughs> that's a good sign. Yeah, it looks like a good day, son. Yeah, yes, sir, buddy. Sure does. We ain't even got out of the way from the dock yet. <laughs> All righty, old buddy. We'll get that one off and get back in the water. Yes, sir. Catch us another one, man. Okay, buddy. Good deal, Bill. Get him back out. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, folks. Old Bill's got another good fish on right here now. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. I see him down there, Billy. Oh, yeah, man. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, boy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He's wanting under that boat, ain't he, Bill? Yeah, he's wanting under that boat. Yes, sir. I got him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sure buddy. Boy, man, that's looking good, Bill. Looking good, ain't it, Have we got the net hung on him? Hold on a second. There we go. There now we go. got him, old buddy. That's right, old buddy. Yeah, old boy. Right, Look at that. Yeah, that man. That boy's boy just right through out there up a bit. Yes, it? sir, Isn't buddy. He a dandy? Yeah, buddy. That's a dandy, Bill. I tell you what, that, clear, that cold, clear water, what? they ain't got the color right now, now that they have had. Yeah. But they're still good fish, ain't they? Yes, sir, buddy. He sure is, Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's just a little white looking. Yeah, that's right. That's that water temperature does that. That's, that. that's exactly right. It does it. All right, back in the water. Get another one, buddy. <laughs> good job. All right, folks, Bill's got another fish on here on the very next case. Man, it's a dandy. Yeah. Bring right. him on in here, Bill. Got him. Oh, boy, I just about not got him in the net, son. Hey, son, come on, we're too big for the little <laughs> net. <net. laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill. It, 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 oh, man, that's a nice one. Oh. Golly bum. Yes, sir, that is a nice one, son. Buddy, you ain't a kid. That's a dandy. That is a dandy, buddy. Yeah, boy. Huh. Oh, yeah. I hooked this right there. But yeah. I, I, I can't you get it. You need the pliers? Yeah, I need the, need the pliers right there to just reach it. Yeah. Just down there a little bit for it. Can't, can't reach it. Can't reach it. It's just right where it ought to be. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, okay. buddy. You look at our son. Hey, son, in here, nice one. He's a nice one, Bill. Right there, that fish right there. Yeah. That he's fish right there almost yeah. 21 inches. Yes, sir. And buddy. it may be. He's yeah, he's four pound better. I guarantee well, I you, man. Guarantee that's a, you that, that's yes. a dandy, son. All right, folks, back in the water. Back in the water we go with him, Bill. There he goes. He's gone. <laughs> All right, now we just got twenty six more to go, Bill. That's right, old boy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Old Bill's got another good fish All on right, right here. Look at here, son. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, sir, buddy. Yeah, boy. What? Come All here, right. buddy. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh man. Golly bum, Bill. <laughs> that gone. Huh? Son, I don't you got one. Look there, what a fish. Golly bum, hold it. Dad, blame it. Let me get him out of here. Get him out. Oh, man, son. I'm telling Golly you. Golly bum, Bill. That's a mighty man. Yeah, that's a man right there, old buddy. You ain't a kid, son. That's a dandy. Yeah, boy. 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 Heavy, heavy. That old boy says, heavy, heavy hangs over your head. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, need the pliers? Well, let's yeah, see. Here. All right, hold on just a second. We'll get, we'll get situated. It's just now, a little look, further than I can reach. Right, I, yeah. It ain't really deep or down his throat, but it's uh, down in his mouth. Good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's not... Not hurt or anything. Uh -uh. I just can't reach that far. Get the hook out of it. Man, that's a good fish, Bill. Yeah, he is, ain't he? We, yeah, buddy. We, we'll 
get a good look at him here just in a minute. Yeah, boy. You got him now? Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that. Golly, Moses. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Look what a fish. Buddy, you want to weigh him? Huh? You want to weigh him? Yes, sir. I'd like to. All right, let's cut the camera off and let me get the scales out. And let's okay. weigh him. All right, buddy. Hold on. Buddy. Boy, I hope I got that recorded. I, I don't know if I did or not. I may have not had the button pushed. Do what? I hope I got that on film, Bill. You don't I may, think did? I don't think I did. may have missed him. Ain't that something? What's wrong? I, I don't know. know. Let's get out here and get another all right, Bill, we're recording this time. We've got that in old, buddy. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, buddy. Hey, say, old boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, oh, buddy. son, him a, him a cracker jack. Got it, buddy. <laughs> all right. All right, son. Right in oh. the upper lip there, David boy. <laughs> buddy. Got another good fish right here, folks. All right. Both to. Right up on that old upper lip. Folks, we've caught three good fish off this point and missed another one, and we're not through we yet. Another. Yeah, we're not through yet. I don't know if that one got on camera or not. Here's a dandy and just like that right there, old Bill. That's exactly right. Son. All right, son. Right, old boy. Let's get another one. What do you get think? Another. Yes, sir. There they go. Boy, it don't take them but a second to get headed down. <laughs> All right, folks. Old Bill's got another good fish on oh, here now. Oh, him, yeah, man. buddy. Yes, sir, that, that sunlight has oh, got us messed it. up. Yeah, boy. Oh, that gummit, Bill. I missed him. Missed him. Got him. <laughs> he won't hardly go in the net. He won't hardly go in the net, Bill. That's a fact. <laughs> I hope you look at them black spots right on his eyes. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's Look down his mouth, Bill. Yeah, yeah, buddy. He's got them protein. Buddy, that is a football and a half. I'm going to tell you. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Look at them black spots around his eyes there. Yeah, Look boy. Right there. That's yeah, coming, it, Bill. That's a nice one, buddy. He sure is, old buddy. <laughs> hey, hey. Yes, sir. That's a nice one, buddy. All right. I'm going to get him back in the water for you. Yes, sir. Put him back there now. All right, folks, I'm telling you, that's a, <laughs> we've got some dandy some fish here now. There he goes. All right, Bill, get another one, buddy. That makes number eight, don't it? That makes number eight. Got 22 more to go. <laughs> yes, All right, folks, Bill's got on something here. We don't know what we it is. We don't know what it is. We it don't is, know what it is. It sure is something. It, it's a good I'm one. I'm afraid it might be what we don't want. Well, though. I'm afraid it is at too, least, Bill. At least hit, <laughs> hit, a, hit a pull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, hit a pull. That's all oh, we Oh, shoot, far, far Bill. Right I think. Golly bum, what a large Golly mouth. Golly bum, what a large, large, large mouth. Goodness son. gracious, alive, Bill. Oh, he's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a large mouth, mouth son. Golly bum, no, what no, a I'm large mouth. You, no, that's true. Man, alive here, Bill. Oh, son, so, look at that. Yeah, Golly, Golly uh, Moses, that's a, that's a seven, seven or eight pound. Man, alive, what a fish. What Good. a fish, that's right. Golly, Bob, look at that. that. Yes, sir, man, that's a, that's a whopper. Well, I'm telling you, all the truth. You won't <laughs> believe how heavy that fish is. Yeah, I would, too. Look <laughs> what a belly on that rascal, bud. Yes, sir, really. Golly, Bob. Oh, man. Man, I'm telling you the truth. Mm-hmm. We're, we're in that grass right there. Yeah. I got him just exactly right. You need the needle nose? Huh? Need the needle nose? No, no, huh? You got, got the him. hook. You got the hook out, I man. Got him right there. Look here. Son, what a bass. Golly. Hey, fun. Ain't that a, ain't that a Buddy, live lamb? Man, man alive. That's, that's a, a whopper, that's Bill. That's a six, seven, seven eight pound, pound fish. Yeah, buddy. He, he's yeah, six pound that. every bit of it. Feel of that. Yeah, man. I see him. He got a belly on him big as mine. <laughs> Golly, I'll bud. tell you right now, son. Man alive, Bill. All right, he's going back to the water. Yes, sir, old buddy. Ah, gone water man, fish. Nice. Yes, sir. There he goes, buddy. Well, hey, he gone. Before you, before you turn that off, there. Yeah. We, that makes that makes ten, ten and lost one. Ten and lost one, Bill. Yes, sir. Exactly ten and right. Lost one. All right, we ain't we're on. doing too bad. No, no, we got to thank old Jim over there at Edgemore for them All baits right, he gives us. He's got them working. All right, buddy, back at it, Bill. Yes, sir.
Oh, there he buddy. comes, buddy. There he comes. Oh, man, oh, what a big man. brown he's a, fish. He's a zipper. He's a zipper. Man, he's a zipper. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I'm telling you, too. Mm -mm -mm. No show. Yeah, he is. Whoa, come back here, buddy. That gum you were high. Get in this net. Yes, I got him. Oh, wow, old buddy. <laughs> Golly, boy, that's another. That's yeah. a, that's yeah. another good, yeah, good, it is. good in 80, son. Yes, yeah, sir, buddy. Yes, sir, right. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Buddy, yeah, boy. Look at that, We getting buddy. some film for old Herschel now, ain't we? That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir, Ray. All right, Bill. Good job, buddy. Let's that, get another one. That's 12 and lost one. 12 and lost one. That's yeah. right. We got an even dozen <laughs> lost one. That's right, buddy. All right. We're back sir. to water. There he goes. He's still jumping, Bill. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, folks. Bill's got... We got our first, first fish on first here this here. morning. First one here, son. Oh, right here. yeah, buddy. Look at our bill. That's going. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yes, buddy. sir, buddy. Hold on just a second. <laughs> yeah, buddy. First fish this morning, Bill. That's right. Second cast. <laughs> yeah, boy. Steve, <laughs> I appreciate all the help here, son. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir, old buddy. You get him there. All right, Bill. All right, old boy. Folks, we're on our we're second. Gonna have a, we're going to have a nice day. If the wind don't catch us, son, we're going to have a nice one. That's exactly right, Bill. <laughs> exactly right, boys. Yes, remember this. Remember this part. Let's catch another real right quick. I'll do it, man. I'll do it, buddy. <laughs> Pretty fish. Yes, sir. All right. He's gone, Bill. Get another. <laughs> Boy, look here. Boy, old Bill's got a good one on here now. Dad, blame it oh, the next, very God. next cast. Now look here, old buddy. Look here. Look oh, here. yeah. Oh, son. Yeah, man. Golly, bud. Oh, yeah, oh, buddy. Son, look here. Yeah, boy. <laughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Right, Ain't that something, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> that gum. Yeah. Done whack two already, Bill. That's right. Shoot far, mighty. Right, old buddy. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, Look at that. man. Boy, ain't he got good color? Yes, sir. Yeah, He's a buddy. Small mouth gym, buddy. Yeah, buddy, that is pretty, Bill. I'm yes, telling you, man, alive. Yes, we're, sir, buddy. we're on them, buddy. <laughs> Get you another. There, Get you another, folks. Remember the sponsors and let's go fishing. Yes, sir. Let's go fishing. <laughs> it's time to go there. All right, folks. Bill's got another good fish on back here now. I'm telling you right now, he's sure feeling good, Steve. Sure feeling good. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm up here, son. I'm up here, old buddy. We keep it. Yeah, we keep this up, Bill. We may have to get a bigger net. All right, old buddy. Hey, look at that. Look at that, old buddy. Buddy. That, that, that is bit. all right, right Bill. There, right on the upper lip, or just like he's supposed Look. to be, son. Ain't he pretty? But he like sure he is. That tail up, yeah. Up, son. <laughs> him, him wanting to fight. Yeah, he is. <laughs> buddy Bill, you doing good? Hey, son. Hey, right now, buddy. I give all my luck to the motor. I'm going to control the motor up back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, old buddy. Good deal, Bill. Let's get another. Yes, sir, All right, folks, Bill and I are out here on Saturday morning. Cloudy, look down there out there, Bill. Got one Dad, just, out there, got one wallering around, yes, sir. <laughs> Dad, blame rascals. Yes, sir. He's a pretty nice one, too. Pretty nice one, too, Bill. To yeah. Oh, he's your baby now. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, boy. Hold on, some, buddy. Lord, be, he's mean be, this morning, ain't he? quiet here, son. Yes, sir. <laughs> Folks, the, the cloud cover's moved in. The wind blowed us off the lake yesterday, and and uh, it's a perfect day for Dale Hollerbill. It sure is, old buddy. He got the net hung in the hook, ain't he? Yeah, he sure has, old buddy. I believe I can get it right here, though. All right. Uh, you go right ahead. He got it now, that little old bar bar. Yeah. That little old bar, man. Come on, man. A little slack in that thing. What the it's devil? Stuck in there. It's stuck in between <laughs> there. There we go. go. Yeah, All buddy. Right, All right, buddy. Look at that. Yeah, boy.
Had a bull he a nice a, he's a nice one too. Anytime Bill. you catch one like he's a nice one. <laughs> That's right, Bill. I agree with you, buddy. That's okay, a dandy, old, dandy sir. fish, huh? Okay, old buddy. Yeah, boy. Folks, remember the sponsors and let's go fishing. That's right. And uh, I may have one back here. Bill now. may have one on his line there now. All right. <laughs> All righty, Bill. Let's get after him. Go on, yeah, but he sure is, Bill. That gummit. Let me get the dip net out of here. Come here, buddy. Come here, old boy. All right, Bill. Got him. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a nice one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, That's man. another good deal. Holler smallmouth, folks. That's right, son. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Boy, Mike, I wish you was with us. Oh, man. Mike. <laughs> Mike. I'm sorry, buddy, if you know Brad, we're laying it on you, son. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, Mike and Brad, we're laying it on you, old buddy. <laughs> All right, Bill. <laughs> got another good Oh, so Bill's got another big fish on here now. That's a dandy, Bill. He don't want to come up. No. He don't want short set. No, he, he don't sure don't. We ain't, we ain't gonna take no chance. If he pops up, I'm gonna net him real quick. Yeah, real quick, Bill. All right, Don't break her line, buddy. All That's right. a good one. Come on up here, son. Come on up here, That's son. a good one, buddy. That ain't no lie there. That's a cracker jack. Yes, sir. Him a, him a bear. Yeah, buddy. He's <laughs> just digging and a digging and a digging. I mean, son, he ain't nothing else but digging. Here he comes, here he comes, he's coming. Is he coming up? Yeah, well he was. Yeah, there he, he comes. Oh yeah. He wants to go back. Yeah, there he comes. Uh -huh. All right, old buddy. Come on up here, buddy. He don't want to come, son. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a circling around, ain't he? That's right. That's oh, look at that. That gum I reckon. Oh yeah, we about to get him. Got him. <laughs> ah, boy. Boy, I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you right mm, now, mm, son. son, ain't that a nice one? I mean, son, that ain't it's nothing but a Cracker Jack. jack. That's, oh. what, that's what you come to Dale Hollow for right there. Yes, sir. Mm. They might be everywhere else like that, but I catch more of them like that in Dale Hollow than I do anywhere else, and I fish all over the country. Buddy, that's a nice one, Bill. All right, we get him back to water and get another. Okay, son. Folks, I think this is mine, some of mine and Bill's friends right here coming in here to get a fishing report from us. We're going to check them out and, and uh, get, get them on camera here. All right, boys. Bill's got a big fish on of some kind right here, and we don't know what it is yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, Bill, right there's what it is. Just what you said. Big old large mouth. <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. Boy, that's an, I tell you, them fish are just so dad blame healthy. It, it's better they are. Yeah, yeah. Look at them black spots all over him, Bill. Yeah. They say that that there. Them black spots are good for them. Yeah, that's what I've all. Yeah, yeah, I like to catch I them. Get that spot on that. <laughs> Look there, yeah, on that head and on that tail there. Yes, sir, Ray, buddy. Yes, sir. Sure is, Bill. Uh, dandy, son. Yes, sir, buddy. That's a nice fish right there now, I'm yeah. telling you, buddy. Get him back in the water. Boy. Back in the water. <laughs> there he goes. All right, folks, we're back at it again. All right, fish. Or folks, Bill's got another smallie on right here. <laughs> oh, watch him, Bill. He's wanting to jump and cut up, ain't he? All right. I'll give him to you, buddy. Got it. What's that make, Bill? Seven? Seven. Seven and missed one. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Good deal, Bill. Good deal. I got a phone call here. We'll see who it is. Huh? Come on. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh man, we, uh, we, hey folks, welcome back. We missed some fish in there some way or another. I, my camera is kind of acting up a little bit. We had those gentlemen coming in there to visit with us. David Duvall, uh, Jerry Mimic, Mimic and uh, Steve Ford. Steve Ford, they were in that boat there. They're some good friends of Bill's and, and the mine now, and, and uh, they'd been out fishing. I, I, Herschel, when he pulled me, I don't know how we didn't get them. Uh, I, I showed them coming up there to talk to us, 
and they pulled up the side of us there and we shared stories and they, they, had, they, they had four really good fish that we took pictures of them in the boat there yeah and david duvall he's from down at manchester tennessee he's been a friend of mine for a long time now he's a fine fella fine fisherman and jerry Minnick from knoxville here owns progressive electric company there in knoxville and steve ford manager of stokes electric that's him hey they you can't beat the being people being with people like that, son, it was all right, wasn't it? it? Was and then we got another friend that we got to mention, too, old Max Mirrodis yeah. from Knoxville. Yeah. Uh, Max wasn't able to make the film there. But he called in and said, somebody called my number here and said, it was my wife. And he said, they said, <laughs> I better get home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said, some woman called me and said, she's a, said I believe she's impersonating my wife and told me I better get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Max left us early, uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, Herschel told me he had had some slides there that couldn't get to pull up or something, and that may have been why we was talking to them three gentlemen. They're all watching the show, huh? It was Dad Gummit. Uh, anyway, they're all watching the show, and and uh, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, you know. Uh, it, we done the best we could do. We, we done the best we could do. My camera's kind of acting up a little bit. We're gonna me and Herschel's gonna work on it here let after me, the show. Let me tell you about them three fellas. Uh, they hit a spot there uh, Saturday morning, I believe it was. Yeah. They took 15 smallmouth off of one part point there and never moved. That's right. And they had some cracker jacks, son. They really did. Yeah. And that that's the kind of fellas they are. They. they Caught them and put them right back, and and son, they're they're, they're fine people. They eh? but you can't be with any better than they are. No, and they sure fed us good, Bill. Woo! What Man, you talking about? They, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we had yeah, they they fed us good. I'm telling you. Uh, but folks, we had a great time down there. We always do, and and uh, uh, it, it's it's real good to meet those kind of people. I'd met a couple of them back last year. Uh, and then they got to meet up with them again down there this year, and, and we just had a great time. Uh, Bill, let's let's tell them, what, you know, tell them about how to catch them fish down there. They, I, I mean, I, it's, I tell you what, this time of year it's always been like that. I've been fishing that lake for many years, and this time of year, uh, you get out there early, and and that's when the fish are. You you don't have fish but one or two places you catch. 12, 15 fish off from one or two places there, and that's all that you have to do. But now, I'm going to tell you, after a while, they'll quit. Yep. I mean, it. Uh, they'll flat quit, and you couldn't buy us. Me and, me and Steve, we went out there Saturday morning, and we took six or seven fish, nine, I believe it was. We took mm -hmm. nine fish off of one place, and some we fished nearly all day, and we didn't have but one or two more. Uh, uh, it gets tougher than a nail. That's right. And, and I'll tell you another thing, too, what now. Uh, those fish bit early. The moon was about full, or it was full. And, buddy, when the sun come up over top of them trees. They quit. They, you might as well come home. <laughs> <laughs> they got tough as nails. I'm telling you, they yes, did. Yes, that's a trick. But uh, they, they bit early, and, and we'd try to get out there. I mean, just to crack a yeah, we was out there. We was out there to crack a day. Yeah, at the, the light, you know, the sun wasn't up, but it was lighting up the sea, and we was fishing. That's and, right. And catch a few. We gonna catch a call here. Hello, caller. Hey, Steve. Yes, sir. This is Mike, buddy, down in White Creek. Add buddy. Hey, man. Golly, bum. If I just <laughs> had you with me, son, we'd have been, we'd have made everything was just right. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, you don't know how we've missed you. Hey, buddy, I want to tell you, I don't know if you heard or not, but yeah. I went down in December with double pneumonia and was in the hospital uh, for a couple of weeks, and they let me go home for Christmas, and then after Christmas, really bad. And uh, physical therapy's been coming. I had to learn how to walk again, had to learn how to stand again. And to be truthful with you, I had to let a crawl in. And, uh, but, buddy, I'm making a comeback. I'm, I'm, uh, they got me where I can stand up and walk my my door and uh, answer the door if I need to. 
So uh, I'm making a comeback. I'm on my cell phone right now. I'm going to working. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Hear you great. Hear you good. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to call and let you know, buddy, that I'm not dead yet. <laughs> and I watched your show, and I got jealous, seeing all those big small mouths. But I couldn't tell what you were catching them on with on my computer. What, what, what kind of bait were they, y'all? Bill's going to tell you there, we had about four or five different baits, but they was all about the same thing. Go ahead, we Bill. We had a little old 3 ounce jig there. Uh, Mike, that didn't have nothing on it, but it was brown and orange, brown and chartreuse, brown and yellow. Well, you and, about and, a, and a white. Yeah. Or rubber jig. Yeah, hair, bucktail, and, 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 ma and marabou. Well, good. I, I just couldn't tell by looking on the computer. Yeah. And, uh, look. That's a good old, good old bait for the wintertime, buddy. Yeah, six-pound test line and and uh, little old limber rod, and uh, I tell you what, you didn't you didn't land them in a hurry. You had to play them. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's right up my alley, though, buddy. I really enjoyed it for a lot of years, mm -hmm. and it's that way, Bill. Yeah. Well, you know, you've been... do it again. Yeah. You, you, you've been there I'm with me. I'm still playing for a miracle, guys. You know, uh, I still got two of them votes. Hey I'm Mike, that, that I can get back at Mike, you, one more time. Good deal. You've been there with me, Mike. You know what it is. Uh oh, <laughs> you sir. Yeah, I'm sorry. So he's just jealous as I could be the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> really proud for y'all to catch all those fish. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, it's good to hear from you, man. We're going to be praying for you and, and keep improving, son, so we can take you fishing. Okay, buddy. If you need me, friend. Just pick up the phone and call me, buddy. Appreciate you, Mike. Good to hear from you, buddy. Okay, guys. I look forward to watching you see this again many times more. All right, man. See you later. See you later. All right. We'll catch another caller. Man, good to hear from Mike. Yeah, it sure is. Hello, caller. Hey, Steve. Hey, Ed. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. Uh, I just going to call in and say hello to the Eskimo Club. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. so a while ago, you, you know, you said you're going to weigh that fish for real, and you missed it. Uh, how much did that fish weigh? Weighed 411. 411 uh, on my scales, and, and I, I meant to calibrate them when we got. I was going to take a, uh, that five pound bag of flour we had and, and, and check them, but I never did get to, and so, but it weighed 411, uh, well, and we, we thought it was I a five pounder. I we saw didn't. Jim down there at the store the other day. Uh, looked like they always catch some six pounders. This is big old fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were big old fish, son. They, they are. They healthy. Ed. They surely are, man. You know. Yeah. All right, then. I'm just checking in with you. Uh, tell tell Land Bray I'm looking for him. I'm going to buy one of his uh, cane pole depth finders because I think my one of front of mine went out. All right. He's probably listening. <laughs> but now listen, they, hey, uh, Ed. But, let me tell you something. Check that thing close. It might have a crack or two in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all be good. All right, Ed. Good to hear from you, buddy. All right. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, but, but you'll, you know, back to what we was catching. And let me tell you this. <clears throat> when Bill and I went across the bridge, Sunset Bridge there on 111, uh, Wednesday afternoon, it looked like... You could, the bottom of the lake, it was, it was I mean, it looked, it was just chocolate, wasn't it, Bill? Yes, it was. It, it was, was very muddy. It was uh, very muddy. You don't see it very often, but we had a lot of rain. Yeah. And uh, the, the water had been down, and all that water running in and everything brought the muddy water on down. In fact, about it, yeah, when we got out of the creek, that's about all. We was in two miles of where the two rivers run together mm -hmm. and uh, where the Obi and the Wolf run together. And it was it was uh, really had a little color down it, in there. It, it sure and did. We we, just, we yeah. had to go down the lake a little farther to get in the the better fishing water. Yeah. It wasn't clear, but it was better than what we was up the lake. Yeah. Uh, we got more bites down farther down than we did up there close. Sure uh, did. Because of yes, the, the muddy yes. water. I, I mean, I feel like that was what it was. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like to fish that muddy, cold water. We we, uh, we was fishing anywhere from 42 to 44 degree water. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's All right, why it showed up on the, on the dip finder mm -hmm. and yeah. everything. It's been 
anymore from 42 to 44. We we may have got 45 one time. Mm. I, I don't I don't know it, but uh, I know we had a lot of 44 degree water. Yeah, uh, I, I'm like you. That cl that muddy cold water is taboo. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it just don't work. Uh, yeah. Uh, now muddy warmer water. Yeah, I love it, man. Yeah, I love it. Get and take crankbaits in and yeah, wire them out. That's right. Yes, sir. They they'll get up there and get get to chasing then when that water. You take uh, 50 degree water and run that warm muddy water in that in there in that 50 degrees, man. Get your flipping stick and your crankbait out. They gonna get <laughs> yeah, right. That's the truth. So. Uh, but anyway, we had a great time, uh, uh, and, and like I said, we, we, uh, caught a lot of our fish, Bill, sitting in 40 foot of water, catching them from 20 to 20, 30, 35 feet, some of them. Anywhere from 20 to 35 feet. I feel like that that's where all the fish were. Uh, we had some fish at 20 feet. We had some fish at 30 feet. We had some fish at 35 feet. Yeah, sure did. Uh, and that's, you know, they just... David and... Uh, Jerry and Steve, they were catching their fish anywhere from 28 to 35 feet. Yeah. And uh, they they had, they had caught just as many as we did and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, they... Uh, they and Max, he had he had two or three good days they, himself. Yeah. He run up on a place that had 10 fish on, put seven of them in the boat in, a, in an hour. Yeah, he sure did. And, 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 and had and two of them, a couple of them got off because he was trying to get them in the boat. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> 10 bites yeah. off of one place yeah. and never moved. You see. All right. Hello, caller. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> are you sure this isn't the Uncle Bill and Uncle Mike yeah. fishing show? Yeah, pretty much it is. I, they, I, they're trying to, well, you know, a good supervisor, the first thing he does is start training his replacement. Uh, how, how much do they pay you to use the dip, man? Well, I, somebody's got to do it, and, and you know I got the camera in one hand, and so I just grab the dip net in the other hand. Uh huh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Mike, he likes to throw them over the side of the boat, but I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what's been going on? Uh, well, I was going to tell you. I'm sort of running short on them 17-foot depth finder sticks. Oh, shucks. You heard that caller wanting, uh, that fella wanting to get one from you, didn't you? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I've got a new sponsor there, and they're using them as uh, uh, cane pole fishing for crappie. <laughs> well, all right, then. All right, that's it. You know, I mean, so you keep some to sell, that's the main thing, eh? Well, I still got the original Kilroy one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, what time did you say that show was, uh, uh, that fishing thing down at uh, the clinch? Hey, uh, it starts at 1 o'clock. I believe it's 1 Wait, hold on. I'll tell you right here in a second. Uh, I forgot myself. Uh Saturday, Maybe February you can't it over to Uncle Bill. Yeah. Well, wait just a minute. I got it on last week's stuff. I think it starts about one or two o'clock and it Expo, goes. Expos again at two p.m. Two p.m. That's what I thought. And uh, we'll uh, and they sometime around four four thirty they're going to feed you and then the thing will wind up about six fifteen. He said. Uh, thank you there, Uncle Bill. I, I, I mean, you know, I knew you or Uncle Mike would fill in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. But uh, anyhow, yeah. you know, you, you was talking about how them fish stick up or will uh, congregate around a stick sticking up. Yes, sir. Well, that's the same thing crappie do in the springtime. Right. I agree with you. you know, I agree with they'll, that. They'll, they'll get in there as long as they can flock it sunlight in mm -hmm. one eye yeah they're hidden that's right they think they're hid i agree with you uh, uh sure will no but they, you know what we didn't want to happen like i said i don't want want to go to, i want to go down there and pick up the trash but i want the trash but i don't want them tearing up my habitat <laughs> you know well, what well, i mean that, that's true and don't fence me off yeah, that's right that's exactly right uh you know what i'm talking about so uh, yeah 
Well, I'm glad Uncle Uncle Mike Richards there is doing better. I am too, buddy. Good to hear from him. I, I that this made my night right there. We were talking about him when we got in here before the show started, and he called in last night on the uh, call in show or the uh, locker room show, and and uh, I, I was tickled to death to hear that, and then I, I I was hoping he'd call in here tonight. Yeah, well, I hope his wife still took his uh, pocket fisherman away from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, know, uh, right. Uh, food City gets sort of uh, suspicious when you hang around that uh, 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 lobster tank. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and he almost ruined it for all of us. <laughs> Oh, Lord. But, it, but anyway, uh, yep. uh, toodaloo. Hey, buddy, good to hear from you. Uh, Ed will be calling you on that death finder. Now, uh, well, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll try to go down here. Uh, there's a man's got some down here uh, that's growing. Yeah. But I got to wait till he goes on vacation. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, be careful. Don't get shot. All right, who lose? As long as the dog don't bark. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> God, right. Hello, caller. Steve Cox. Hey, Dan, how are you, man? Doing good, buddy. How you doing? Buddy, doing great. Bill Nichols, Mike, how's it going? Doing great. Uh, good to hear from you, buddy. <laughs> Tell us about the fishing tournament Saturday down there at Watts Bar. Well, uh, I got to get Denny in the boat again. It's the first time he's fished a tournament with me since uh, probably back in 2014, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it was an honor to have him back fishing with me again. But we had a good day. Um, we only caught like seven fish, I think, all day long. But uh, yeah. they were the right ones. I heard that. That's, That's what right. I heard. That's what it takes. Yeah, you had a good bag of fish. The only boat that had a good bag, really. Yeah, uh, Roger and Hugh Lee, they were a second. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they had nine pounds with two fish. I think they had one that was six seventy or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a good day, Steve. Um, Congratulations! You hadn't picked your ticket up yet for the expo. You gonna get it? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I got caught up. Yeah, I'll come by there and get it. Okay, buddy. Herschel's waiting on you tomorrow or whatever. It'll probably be uh, tomorrow afternoon. Okay, buddy. Good deal. Hey, That's good. A good video. Y'all had uh, over on Del Hollow. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Sure do. Uh, old, old Bill knows what he knows how to catch them. Well, I tell you, anyway. they, uh, you know, Del Hollow is famous for the big smallmouth, but he proved that uh, there's some big largemouth in that lake, too. Buddy, they yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> buddy, they's, they's, Jack. They, yeah. Uh, Dan, they had a tournament down there last year, had 3,200 pounds of fish weighed in, son. And all of them largemouth. And all of them largemouth. Well, who'd have thought that? Yeah, that's what we said. Who'd have thought that in the smallmouth lake? But it was all about the bait, ain't it, Bill? All about it. Yes, sir. It's what they called them on, Dan. Well. Them live that minners. Good, that was good video. Your uh, your camera that you're using is really showing some good footage. Well, I know it, but it messed. It, it, it's, it's, when I open the side viewer on it, it wants to show it accessing data. And uh, it, I have to boop, hit about three buttons to get it to go to work, and it takes too long to do that. But Herschel's going to help me figure out what to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, y'all figure it out. Yeah. All right, Dan, good to hear from you, man. You too, Steve, Bill, Mike. Thank you, buddy. Right, see you, buddy. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. All right, folks, let's get into these announcements here right quick. Uh, got six minutes. Man, the tournaments are all over us, folks. Uh, boys, these fishing tournaments are here. This, I mean, they're knocking on the door. Matter of fact, they're starting Saturday, uh, several of them Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> right quick, uh, Reynolds Racing is going to be uh, have some side by sides up there and some boats at the uh, Sportsman's Expo, and they've got a special sale going on these uh, boats and side by sides right now. Uh, Seven hundred fifty dollars off on accessories on the side by sides. Got the boats discounted spring sale. Give them, come by, check some of it out up there at the Sportsman's Expo. If nothing else, go down by Reynolds Racing Marine. Get on their website, check all that out. And these uh, new sponsor I've got is is a group of guys. That it's, it's a business, the Roofers. They they do roofing and remodeling. They're licensed, bonded, insured, 
and they do great work. Bill, they put the roof on your house. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, so give those a call. You'll see the ad on the screen. Uh, you can't beat them. Citizens Bank, uh, all types of banking, and folks, listen, the friendliest people you'll ever run into, and they'll do whatever they can to help you. So give those people the do. And want to thank Edgemore Outdoors uh, for providing us with some of them baits, Bill. That's right. That's exactly right. And I'm going to tell you right now, son, he's got them. He's, he's got every kind of bait that they are over there. And some of the newest things that out here on the market, and he's got them already out there. Yep. And, hey, they're already catching fish. That's been proven here. <laughs> it sure is. And, and, you know, spring's just around the corner, and Jim's got everything that you need to fish for whatever you're fishing for up there. Just stop by there at Edgemore and check them out. Uh, and, and I think you'll be well worth the trip. Uh, let's see. One other thing uh, I wanted to mention. The East Tennessee Sportsman Association has changed their meeting night. They will no longer meet on the third Tuesday. It's going to be the second Tuesday of each month. Same place, 7 o'clock. The reason being, they've had several people <coughs> contact them that their clubs or something, that their functions that they are attending is on Tuesday night, and they can't get to their meeting. Yeah. It being the third on their, you know, co coinciding one another. So uh, they decided that East Tennessee Sportsmen to change our, our meeting night to the second Tuesday of every month, and it'll be at Rome Street Grill at, as of right now at 7 o'clock, uh, the second Tuesday of each month. So don't forget that. And, uh, don't, and don't eat before you go. Yeah, yeah. Always think about Rome Street <laughs> Grill. Yeah. You, can't, you can't beat that food down there, I, I'm for sure. I, ain't, I tell you, this ain't no way, man. This ain't no way. But, folks, do I do thank all the rest of my sponsors. Uh, uh, what's going on, can't do the show without them for sure. And you're seeing them on the screen there. Let them know that. Hey, these tournaments are kicking off here. You got the Blue Ridge Bassmasters going to be on Norris at point nineteen. 8 to 4 p.m. That'll be this coming Saturday. And then you got, uh, I'll have to get my spectacles on for this one. Oh, Lordy. Fishers of Men, they're going to be on Watch Bar at Lad Landing. Uh, down there at, uh, uh, on, uh, let's see, no, on March the 5th. They'll be at Watch Bar at Lad Landing, March the 5th. Uh, that's the Fishers of Men. And you got a bunch of Heartland tournaments, folks. Uh, Watch Bar, March the 5th. Uh, that's at the dam. Uh, Fort Loudon Teleco. How much? 30 seconds? Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, anyway, you guys know how to get a hold of Heartland. You got U.S. Bass. They're going to be on Cherokee on 3-6 and just so on and so forth. But this thing's fixing to get started here real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Tennessee Team Trail, March the 19th at Norris. That's Anderson County Park, so on and so forth. And we'll tell about these later tournaments in the next show. Don't forget my guest next week, and God bless you, and we hope to see you then. Country Fresh Foods. You may not know the name, but you definitely know the taste. Our homemade fudge is shipped all over the country. Its quality is unmatched, and it's made right here in Oliver Springs. But you don't have to travel all over to enjoy it. You can get it right here at our retail store. Pamela Ann's Fudge Candy and Gifts. The highest quality fudge in a countless variety of flavors. And we also carry a variety of candy and unique gifts for you to enjoy. Come enjoy the taste you have loved for years at Pamela Ann's Fudge Candy and Gifts in Oliver Springs, a division of Country Fresh Foods. Right me and Kay Harback invite everyone to come on over to Rome Street Grill to experience a pleasant dining experience with them. Rodney knows how important it is to get folks back to work after lunch. So they have a speedy lunch at Rome Street Grill. They will get you in and get you out every day. They have a special at lunch or order off the menu. So go visit the fine folks at Rome Street Grill. Call them at 865-285-6025. That's Rome Street Grill across from Jerry Duncan Ford in Harriman. Call them at 865-285-6025.